Hello everybody, welcome back to Hollywood Sports. That's right guys, we're coming at you one more time. We're coming at you one more time, man. We're playing all Madden Simulation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We bringing it guys, we bringing football, NFL football to this channel. Playing all Madden. Hello, everybody. I'm Larry you know, I've been getting a lot of crazy NFL comments on the gameplay, guys. But hey, hey, what it is, is what it is. What it is, is what it is. Man, we got to go down to Pittsburgh right now and do work. And do work. For the us call, let's send you out to the broadcast booth. Where we'll join our commentators, Brandon Guyton and Charles Davis. Right at the convergence of the three rivers on Art Rooney Drive, we welcome you to Heinz Field in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. They love the black and gold here in the Steel City. And a few moments ago, their Steelers emerged from the Heinz Field Tunnel. They're set. We're set. It's going to be a tough game, man, but we can do it, guys. We can do it. I can just eliminate the turnovers, man. Be a good team. You gotta eliminate again, you eliminate your turnovers. Davis, you gotta play Gunn sound Larry, football. You gotta to make good plays. You gotta do some one. nice play calls. We you gotta have great defensive points, great offensive points, great special teams points. You, you gotta call your timeouts at the right time. You gotta have good a game management. You gotta have nice clean drives. It's all encompassed, man, in these sliders, man. All encompassed in all mad game. Gonna use a smaller corner, maybe they'll be too big. Can a safety match up and run with them, and also use enough bulk to keep them from just having their way? So, so many ways that tight ends are used nowadays. They're fun to watch. So out comes the Redskins offense now onto the field. They'll be let out by the veteran quarterback out of Michigan. All right, here we go. Play by play. It's Kirk. Play by play. Play by play is the attitude. Play by play is the attitude. In 2016, in fact, over the last two seasons, over 9,000 yards passing, the fourth most in the NFL. This is the first Good run, Kelly. Good and run, boy. With about six, up past the 30 to the 31. Rob Kelly was the number three rookie runner Do it in the NFL 2016 behind Ezekiel Elliott and Jordan Howard. What a nice start for him. Seemingly out of nowhere because he was undrafted and I think ready to put his imprint on this Redskin franchise. One reason, he can do everything. Run it with power inside, catch That's the ball. That's what I'm talking the about. That's what I'm talking about. Really well for his quarterback. Let's go, Kelly. Five Kelly came to play, man. It looks like Kelly got some good sleep and he came to play. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays. Kelly was sleeping on a plane, man, so I know he rested. He was sleeping on a plane coming up here to Heinz Field. That's almost a tendency break. still his country. So the offense has it first and ten. Cousins setting up the screen. Good move, Kelly. Come on, Long. You gotta make a better block than that, baby. Kelly needs your help, baby. Come on now. They hold him to only two there on the screen in second down. And a quick look at Washington's offense. The Washington offense in 2016 ended up ranked in the top five in the NFL. In fact, they were number three overall. So how did they get it done? Well, head coach Jay Gruden, he's the guy who's really the master play caller. He's known for his ability to throw the football. That's right, guys. You got to become a master play caller. Only number 21 in the league. It's a big key to success. Coupled with number two and throwing the ball. They're able to get their running numbers up. Oh, he gets hit. But they, good catch, man. Good catch. And he's going to be run over. Hit hard as he'll be marked down. Cousins to his big target. Read in the There's some big hits in all mad guys. You better wrap up when you catch this ball. When you, when you running that ball, you better wrap up. Because when you can have that type of a game in the middle of the defense, it hurts them in so many ways because most teams like to be strong down the middle. And if you can sting them there, that open things. You got to make them respect the, the run. Well. They got to respect the run, guys. They have to. so good that middle third, the seam routes, the in routes. Yeah, you're right. Probably see more of that. Yeah, it takes a lot of courage and fortitude to go in the middle as well. And he's got it. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there. Second down. 
Now we get a glance at the defensive starters for the Steelers. <laughs> I made a blunder when we went down to the field. I called TJ yep, Watt. Ryan says you made that Watt. tackle. That is a no-no. There are now three Watt brothers in the National Football League. And you know I usually have your back. You know that you ran from me, right? <laughs> it's like forget I don't blame it. you. Don't Sorry know. about that. I love the commentary, guys. I love it. it. The Pittsburgh Steelers, with an eye towards the future, took TJ Watt in the first round and put him right into the starting lineup because they have to rush the passer and to get to the Super Bowl, you've got to go to New England. You've He's got coming. to Tom Brady on the He's ground. He's coming. Don't you? Max protect left. Oh, I didn't I didn't do it right. I didn't do it right. Time running out here on the play clock. That was second down throw for Cousins. There we go. There we go. I max protect. I was supposed to I was supposed to do slap protection to the left. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. I don't believe that this opening drive is surprising to either Way one to go, of us. Way to go, Good catch, baby. Good throw, Cousins. Staff and players Beautiful comeback. Game. Great anticipation. The pass was there that, just in time. This paper this morning about their philosophy okay, they ran a blitz. They ran that safety blitz. So they helped us out. They've done very methodical here on this first drive. Yeah, so many go back to our halfback dive. Fast start. We're actually seeing it happen right here in front of us. But now the kicker. Can they cap it off by putting the ball in the end zone? They oh, come on, is that Shazy again? No, that's not him. Down pretty hard, right Ooh. at the line of scrimmage. That's gonna go as a loss of a yard. Who is that guy, man? Williams. Down. Every year I go to the Pittsburgh got an awesome down line, man. Backers are running nowadays. Oh, he came right through it and made a good hit on the ball right there. Wow. Head up, run right through. And before they can run another play, the clock hits triple zeros. And time is up on the first quarter. Nothing, nothing, our score. More from the Steel City coming up after this. The NFL on EA Sports is fueled by Gatorade. Gatorade, sports baby. Sports fuel company. You know, I haven't drank Gatorade in a long Charles time. To my right, I'm Again, Brandon shout out to uh, Brandon Garden and uh, Charles Davis. Two, but they face a second and long to start things out. Here on the bootleg. Blitz coming and down he goes. Woo, good play. Coming good play by the defense. Linebacker spot. He drops him for a loss of 11. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. Yeah, blink of an eye. That happened fast and a big sack. Cousins with work to do after the sack as he brings his guys up on a third and long. Throwing his cousins. And almost picked off. I guess the good news for them now, it's fourth down. Woo. Well, we quit counting yardage on that one, didn't we? That was truly third in a mile, wasn't it? It was. I thought they might just go underneath. You but can't take didn't. sacks, guys. That's a part day. of it. You yeah, cannot take sacks. I mean, you have to take them if you have to take them. You don't want to throw interceptions. Just to but get some field position. sacks hurt you, man. They put you back. Now the fourth-year man from Oklahoma, Tress Way on to punt. Back deep for the Steelers, Antonio Brown. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good Wow. One. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. So here are the Steelers now. I'm telling you guys, man, the, the AI for all men does It'll great play calling, man. Those teams it's calling plays, guys. They mixing it up too. Is it really true that last year became just a I'm trying to take this game to a different level, man. Strategy, chess match, taking it to a different level, man. His rookie year, and he had a great winning streak to start off his career with the Pittsburgh Steelers. But the best part about his game, two Super Bowl rings and his fifth Pro Bowl a year ago as well. Now Roethlisberger on first down. 
And that's complete to Jason. Great flow by Roethlisberger, man. And they're able to get this one across the 35. It'll be a gain of 17 and a Pittsburgh first. Great pass over the top Almost right there. Not fair. The big wow. guy running the corner route, being able to lean and push and get to where he wants. So how do you stop him? A lot of times you want to have a linebacker on him, a bigger body guy who can handle him physically. But a lot of times that doesn't work as well because his quickness often wins the route. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go, Boston. is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. The evaluation Good job, process Boston. in today's NFL Beautiful. does not take into account as much bulk as it does speed. And that's what we're seeing with the linebacker position. Those guys that can run, they can play at any spot because they can make plays on the opposite side of the line of scrimmage. Well, they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Come on, guys. Let's get a stop. Let's, let's get a stop. Anyway. Come on, now. Now Roethlisberger to throw on second down. Goes there you go. There you go. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. It'll be a gain of four. And that'll bring up a third down. Chess match, baby. Chess match. Turnovers will hurt you. Just like in the real NFL, turnovers will hurt you. Getting sacks will hurt you. You got to make sure you got to do the right thing, man. You got to do the right thing, man. We might get something these last two minutes. And on third and eight, defensively, they're going to beef up. You can't beat all man playing like two days ago, guys. You got a ball. You got to come to play. You got to come with the game plan. From the shotgun, it's Rafa Stoker. Oh, oh, he leans over. Complete. That's James. And he'll go down right around the oh, fourth and inches. This time. Yes. It'll be They're not going to go for it. They're not going to go for it. Down. So much about offense. This is simulation mode, baby. This yardage. is simulation you know, mode. You've got to stop. To someone, they catch it. And then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play. Run yeah, they're not going to go for it on their own They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. 47. his tracks. So out of bounds on the punt, and the spot will be, the side judge says, right at yeah, right at the 35-yard line here. A chance for us again to look at this Pittsburgh defense. And as we're going to see right here, they have been laying some pretty electric That was Shane Zier right there on that hit. And these are for real. Okay, as you Woo. watch, think about putting yourself in that you spot. About being the ball carrier. Oh, he put shoulder into him. And then taking that shot, it, it is something else. That's why I like watching like highlights, watching guys. That, that video clip where they showed you how they make sounds for movies. <laughs> this is for real. I'm showing you guys all aspects of this game. Cousins on first down. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. Uh. The throw took him a little too far at second down. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown him a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after him, they've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on the Not an easy that's task going against Pittsburgh, man. Not this defense. On second down, Cousins again. Now they set up the spin. Oh! Tried to do and that spin move, down man. Shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. And give him three on the screen. He couldn't break free, and it's third down. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed. But all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. And heavy contact. He oh, good. We get an injury timeout. I didn't have to waste another timeout. Or did it take my timeout? Because I pressed the button. I'm hoping the injury timeout about beat me before I trust it. I don't remember how many timeouts I had. But that's okay. So we're back in the offense getting set following the call of that timeout. That's okay. We got two, baby. First down throw for Cousins. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. 
Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. It's Pittsburgh playing, guys. Are they mixing it up on me? They're mixing it up, bro. They're mixing back, it up. The offensive unit, they took the timeout, and now they get set to line up as we resume action. It doesn't look like they're coming now. Okay, here we go. Play fake. Cousins. Oh! That was nearly picked. Not sure he was a good one. When is the tight, baby? Safety. When is the tight? That brings up third down. Tremendous coverage there. Just did not catch the football and complete the interception. But what do they say all the time? If he had really good hands, he'd be playing offense. And some secondary help here for the defense and the nickel on third. We and need long. a big play, man. We need a big play. I'm serious. Working out of the gun, Cousins. And he comes back with one complete. And he's going to get this down to the 35 yard line. Woo. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. Let a hot rod right him cross the middle, man. Seconds to go in half number one. <laughs> Everybody was locked up. Come on, Long. Get your butt back in the game, boy. So on fourth down, Cousins will head to the sideline and give way to Dustin Hopkins. It'll be spotted on the right hash. A 52-yard attempt. And this is right down Woo! the middle as he puts it through. And it's 3-0 as the Redskins strike We're hanging, first. dude. We're hanging. So they kick it through to take the lead. There is a little bit of time left, though, here in the second quarter. And while they're concerned about not giving up a big return or giving up points themselves going into the half, how good do they feel, though, putting points on the board themselves right near the end of the first half? This will be first taken way, the the back, end zone. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee, and they'll bring the football out to the 25. I don't think the CPU is going to do anything. Still got two timeouts though. On first down, it's Roethlisberger. Oh, look at this! <laughs> it's James, and we're gonna get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. Come on, y'all! Come on, y'all! It's constant pressure playing. Is all mad, bro? You can't relax. Why y'all think I sit here and doing the commercials, the man? Had a chance to talk things over. Woo. We'll see what they come up with here Look at this that. next play. Look at that. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. The man them up. 48 yards away. Ball short, ball short. And his kick is absolutely perfect. So we've reached halftime in a low scoring affair. What it is is what it is. Three is our score. As we'll send you down to Orlando as we check in with Larry Ridley. You see how balanced the gameplay is? Well, you can't tell unless you're playing it. And y'all probably think I ain't playing good football, but you'll see, baby. When you get this old man in your hand, you will see. Both the Steelers and the Redskins have very low rushing totals. It has not been any Everybody telling me what I should have done, how I need to do this. We'll see, baby. More concerted effort to run it's good sitting on the sideline. It's easy so watching on the sidelines from the first half. <clears throat> all man gonna pick up your blitzes. They gonna audible on you. They gonna hot rod on you. 
Roethlisberger's going to find his mark, and he'll be tackled at the 31-yard line. Big Ben is 4 for 4. Le'Veon Bell got two carries. Stack team, man. Stack team. So that'll do it for us here in Orlando. And we got to kick it back to him. As we head it back over to Brandon Guy. Let's kick it short. Let's see if we can get a return. So Maybe a turnover here. And we'll get going again here in quarter oh, I still want an end zone. Is he going to bring it out? Yep, Let's yep. Let's a few yards into the end zone. And a good return. These boys hitting hard, hard man. These boys hitting the hard. Yard line. He watched it get hit hard, too, baby. The Steelers we got some hard hitters on our team, too, first baby. Here to begin the third quarter. They have a chance to break our tie here as we Big Ben ain't no joke, boy. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed up that'll give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. The second half starts with a carry by Bell. Don't let him go nowhere. Don't let him go nowhere. 35, maybe the 34. It's a six yard Beautiful struggle animations the right there. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing. It's nice when the game gets those jersey pulls in the game, man. When they get them jersey Huge pulls, baby. As we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. Second down, it's Bell. Come on, lad. Come on. Well, again, is seven and it gets him a new set of Get down. down in the trenches, man. This guy's averaging five, five point seven yards a carry. I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of work. Boston missed a tackle. They actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other bats in the league. So they pick up the first down after the run, and now they approach for the fresh set. Watch Le'Veon coming up the middle, man. We got that linebacker coming. He got blocked. Out of the gun. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. Come on, defense. Let's stop him. Get out the field, baby. Come on. They'll run it now. There you go. And yeah, nothing doing. There you He's go. Immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third. Where'd it go, down. Ziggy? Ziggy, Ziggy. In a 3 4 defense there, and against the run, a lot of responsibility can fall on that nose tackle. A ton of responsibility. No pun intended, <laughs> because they've got to deal with not just the center both guards and a lot of times they have to eat up double teams in order to let the rest of the guys get to the football but how about that play you know he didn't eat up the double team he ate up the ball carry as well oh good deep good deep good deep boston said eat up the double team good deep boy he can't quite pick it no interception so far that probably should have been their first but at least it's fourth down Oh man, that was close. The opportunity to change. Good deep boss. Way to get them hands in there, boy. Right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. Barry on to punt as he gets this one away. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there, maybe to pin him back. So here's the Redskins offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. Their defense drink liquids, did guys. Drink that no water. Points. Drink that water, man. I'm telling you. Turn. And how much fun is that when you set Keep things the body up cool. to start a half? Drink that water. And you just tell you guys, hey, if you can shut them down, get it back for our offense, we can roll. And they played out perfectly. Now, can the offense do what they wanted to do at the half, which is find those weaknesses and now attack them and score some points. And break this tie. Cousins now to throw on first down. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. I wanted to go to the other side. Picked up by the former first rounder, Artie Burns. Not stand focused. Not stand focused. That was a really 
nice interception. I think it illustrates. Well, let me show y'all what I'm talking about. Not staying focused. Not staying focused. I wanted to go to the left side over here. I bet you he was open. He would have made that make that comeback. He would have been open. Press the wrong button. Can't fit those balls in those tight windows right here. Can't do it. You can't do it. But I had my man right over the center right here. Didn't see him. Between playing man and playing zone. When you're in man, wow. all you're focused on is the receiver in front of you. But when you're in zone, you're allowed to read the quarterback's eyes and go to the ball. That's exactly what happened on that play. And they'll start this drive with very good field position. On first and ten, it's Roethlisberger. Over the middle here. Antonio Brown. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler <laughs> touchdown. <laughs> oh man. And the Steelers capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. And a nice job by him to catch the slant and then navigate. Antonio the Brown. The receivers love slant routes <laughs> because it gets the ball in their hands so quickly. Hey, don't y'all be hating on the CPU either, man. I gotta get I gotta game plan balance, guys. They gonna whoop your butt, man. They gonna whoop your butt. Their speed. And their speed sometimes, like this instance, can take them into the end zone. But I can't you can't turn the ball over, you see? Can't turn the ball over, guys. Well, they got the ball can't turn the ball over. Position. One play later, boom. End zone. Y'all used to playing Madden. You can make a ton of turnovers and still win. Not, 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 not now. Not now, baby. Not now. You got to play sound football. You, you got to play a good game to get your win. You got to play a solid game if you're going to win at all man. Yeah, drop them off, Harris. <laughs> you got to play a solid game, baby. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. On all three phases. Time, That's what I want. You got to play solid so in all three phases. They should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see when they decide to do a play caller. Because a Ooh, look at that hit. We throw an interception. Ooh, we. A lot of people think the very next time out, run the Catch ball. ball. Don't give them a chance. Maybe play action. I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. Boy, those guys are hitting out here, man. Them boys are hitting, hitting out here, man. Now, isn't it? Because when the big fella runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. On the run, it's Kelly. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Oftentimes, when you're not winning at the point of attack for an offensive line, maybe they're getting out physical spread things out a little bit, make it more of a one-on-one -on -one blocking scheme, then you don't have to win it physically. You just have to win it by position. That may open things up for your running backs. Cousins now oh, come on! Pressure comes and the Steelers take him down. Ryan Shazier in there to get him his second sack now of the afternoon. He was wide open. I just even have time to throw the ball. Reed was wide open right here, man. He was wide open. Look at that. Right back to the oh. for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole <laughs> lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes oh, through clean, oh, oh. oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Pittsburgh. You know, I saw it's him coming. I thought I would have enough time to throw it. I didn't want to max protect quarter, because then four. I would have took Reed out of the play. Cousins with work to do after the when they come up the middle, man. Guys up on a third and long. <laughs> From the shotgun, it's Cousins. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. A pretty good coverage there and both of these deep Now a lot of y'all will say Hollywood you got to go for it. We still got almost it's pretty much 4 minutes left, man. We can't go for it yet. Scoring. 
This feels almost like you a can't go for it yet. game in baseball. They will be on our they will be on our 40 yard line. We just got to get a good stop play. on defense and get the ball back. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. Ah! And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. The Steelers offense now, they head back onto the field. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you I have to do more audible than two guys. I got to do more audible. You're probably missing some good when plays out here. Points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Come on, defense. We need to stop. We need the ball back. Come on now. Come on now. There you go. There you go, McLean. Come on, baby. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. Flashback to high school or college, carrying it around campus, right? The old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out? While he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach, he's in big trouble. They'll go again with oh, there we go. Good and job, Foster. Foster playing a good game right now. Down right there. He's our middle linebacker. No he's he's playing play a good game. Good job, Foster. Down. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring it up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity because we I have to get out the field on this play, right guys. We need to stop them, right here. Get to the Third and seven. We've got to get the stop right here. Got to. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. And now look oh, he this. fumbled. He fumbled. Fumble. And the Redskins scoop it. Go, go, John. Get that, give me that block. And he's able to take this one back to the 36. Wow. Line. Beautiful. Well, we needed that turnover, guys. We needed that turnover. Beautiful. Beautiful by the defense. That's a combination Beautiful. Of coaching, execution, and oh. belief. Because a lot of guys will look at the score. You know what, guys? I think they're going to give his ball back. I think he was down. But they still thought to themselves, if we could make a you see, play. You see how I was wrapping up with Josh Norman? Because those boys can get it, man. And that's exactly what they did. Let's see. Let's see. Was the ball out before he got down? The Redskins now. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively. The coach to call a challenge flag. They even made a trip to the Redskins. They didn't call a challenge flag. Okay, here we go. Here we go. No challenge flag. Here we go. Not really move the ball well, as you said. Oh, we needed that turnover, man. We needed that turnover. Points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try to figure out what is working, and call more of that. Good catch, good catch, good catch, Crowder. Ooh, you see how you see how tight that throw had to be, man. You see, by the way, half a second late, that would have been not a good throw. It wouldn't have been there. I'm pretty sure you you always see open guys guys open, but you don't really have that time, man. You got to dictate your progressions right out before the play snaps. You got to know who's gonna be number one, who's gonna be number two. You might get a chance at number three. <laughs> uh. So it's Redskin football here as we welcome you back. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down to the wire. Second down, Cousins. And incomplete. I'm glad he dropped it. I'm glad he dropped it. I would rather have a loss of yards than have a third and more yards. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact Okay, let's do this quick pass to the stick. Bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. Maybe I can put Crowder on his streak. Let's see. Because if Reed's not open, that's where I'm going. If Reed's not open. They'll look to throw. And he couldn't what? hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. 
figuring they're going for it on fourth down. Remember, though, they do have all three timeouts, so even if they don't get it, all is not lost. Yeah, so let's look and see if Crowder was open. I tried to look at both, but I knew they were coming. I knew they were blitzing. Oh, man. Let's see. Okay, look at Reed. He's open, man. Now, look how fast this guy recovers. Look how fast he recovers. Knocks the ball out with his left hand right there. Now, also, I want you to see. I want you to look. Now, I want... I want you to watch the safety here. Watch how quick that safety grabs uh, Crowder. Watch this. Okay, he, he Reed's going to come down to get the ball. Now, he leaves. Here, let me just leave it up. He leaves Crowder. He's guarding Crowder. He's trying to slow him up on the route. He sees the ball thrown. Look how fast he reacts. Now, you would think that Crowder would have been open because I was thinking about Crowder, right? But look at the safety. Look at the safety. Look at the safety. He's right there on it. Look at him. Look how he breaks on it. Now, I don't think I would have had enough time to go to Josh Dawson. You might say, well, Hollywood, if he jumps on Crowder, go to Josh Dawson right here. But, man, you don't have that much time. The ball's already thrown anyway. So you got to make decisions, guys. You got to make decisions. <laughs> and they got to be quick. Y'all think this is all easy. Oh, Hollywood, you should have done that. Oh, Hollywood, you should have done this. But as you noted, with those three timeouts, they actually We're going to run the same play to read, guys. Down seven, and they've got to go for it here. But I think I'm going to reverse now. it. No, we're going to leave it in the open field. Okay. Reed's got to catch this ball, man. But we're going to have to try to hit Davis. Here we go. There he is. There he is. All right. Okay. We ain't gonna call timeout yet. Here, Not yet. Down at the 24. It's a oh, I didn't mean to press up. that. And on fourth down, they're able to convert and move the sticks. Fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find plays that have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need. That's exactly what they got done. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. You see, man, it's tough, guys. You got you got to look at all angles, man. There's just too much going on. Maybe you guys are better than me. Maybe I'm just not that good, which I admit I'm not so that good, guys. But you see, looks like do you see they call that cover one robber? To resume the action. Oh. Oh. I got to take a shot to the end zone, man. Got to take a shot to the end zone, guys. But they got some good safeties, man. Every time I think I can lob it over his head, it never happens. And the return here will go to the 31 yard line. Brandon, offensively, this has been a tough day for him. Trying to find a place to throw the football. It's been extremely difficult. I've got to give a lot of credit to the secondary. It's a bad throw, guys. It's just a bad throw. Receivers on lockdown. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is, do all the things okay, that you're call holding. In call holding. Out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but still a one-possession game. This one not fully over yet. Holding offense. There we go. So he was We got the turnover we needed, man, and I blew it. I Everyone blew it. Keep their hands inside when they're blocking. Trying to th looking at that fade, it wasn't rules. open. Try to go across the middle. Intercept. Sometimes they get out a little wide and they get detected grabbing some cloth. That 
After the penalty, it's Bell. Another flag, another flag holding. Holding offense. It's actually going in our favor. Can you believe it? So on the big tight end, holding. Each and every year, we talk about very few tight ends coming into the league that are polished blockers. We're going to engage gate. In engage college. eight, baby. So We're bringing everybody. We're bringing everybody. To learn how to do it without holding. We're bringing everybody. We're bringing them. Roethlisberger with a give to Bell. Oh, he tried, he tried to strip it. He tried to strip it. Rashad Breeland tried to strip it. Did y'all see that animation? He tried to strip it. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So a defensive timeout, chance to regather, regroup, and get set as we resume action. We're bringing engage eight. Engage eight. Engage eight. All right, we don't have the tight end cover. We don't have the tight end cover. Again, it's Bell. And he's going to be taken down here at about the 10. <clears throat> now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. And now following that timeout, the defense back out onto the field. And the Steelers on third down, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This will be third and a mile. Now Roethlisberger going to hand the bell. And a nice move will yield nothing as he stopped behind the line. Losing two yards that We're going to have to throw a Hail Mary, guys. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time he might actually pop one of these runs. But bottom line is he takes we care of the We had our chances. We had our opportunities. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all Get of it. Get that block. Get that block right there, man. Now it's Crowder. Look at the spin. Balance. 62 yards on the punt that time. Wow. And possession will change here with very We have no time timeouts, guys. 11 in this seconds. Contest. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Pryor has a plus five in height. He's our fastest man. Let's go. Back to throw. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by Mike Mitchell. All right, guys. Y'all saw it. Y'all saw it, man. There ain't no room for mistakes on all bad, man. Y'all saw it. I threw that daggone interception. We had the chances, man. Which one's going to be one of the key ones? But at the end of the game, when you analyze it, three. You see, there ain't no windows out there, man. There ain't no windows, bro. They tight. They tight. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I appreciate you guys watching. Y'all watching me lose and lose and lose and lose, man. But I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you're just enjoying the fact that, you know, it's good football, guys. We're, we're, we're enjoying the process of playing football. You know, sometimes a lot of people uh, say, you know, yeah, you lost by this, you lost by that. But hey, guys, I'm enjoying it, though. I'm enjoying football. I'm enjoying the process. Sometimes it's not all about winning and losing. You want to win, but don't let a loss discourage everything that you're about because it's all about having fun. It's all about enjoying the sport of football. It's all about enjoying the, the fact that it, it involves strategy and the fact that you got to get better. That's what I like, guys. I'm not down because I lost. Everybody's going to lose to Pittsburgh. Uh, Steelers going to lose in real life. 
The New England Patriots gonna lose. The Chicago Bulls lose. Everybody loses, guys. But I'm losing at a rapid pace. But hey, man, it's all about fun. It's all about your perspective on a football game. You're having fun. You're enjoying the strategy. You're enjoying the competition. That's what it's all about. If you enjoyed the video, guys, hit that like button. Hit that like button, guys. But if you're new to the channel, you love this type of stuff, you want to see some good football, some rugged stuff, you don't want to see people always winning, always winning, always winning. I'm showing you guys the raw stuff, man, raw stuff. Y'all watching Hollywood mess up, mess up, and mess up. And once in a blue moon, we do good. All right, guys, if you're new to the channel, hit that red box, that subscribe button box. Let's get going, man. Let's get going. Join the team of Hollywood Sports, and let's do it together. As always, as always, until next time, everybody. And remember, when you got to get on up, you got to get on up.